Hey guys, I'm out here in the park and I just wanted to share about a news story that I read that was really um, kind of touching and, and hit my heart for a few reasons, specifically because there is this narrative about uh, police abuse, um, specifically this racial narrative that people are saying that police are out here to um, kill people. And yet in all of this, we forget who the people are that join the police force. And I have known that most police officers are the people who are willing to actually take tangible steps to improve the community around them. And so I was really struck by this article that I read about a Delaware police officer. And I, I think there's a few points here that relate specifically to the cultural moment that we are in. And so in this article, it's about a Delaware police officer that was recently taken off life support because he responded to a call of a fight going on in a house. And as soon as he reported to the call, they say that he was attacked by another man who stomped on him, um, overcame him and started stomping on his head and killed him. And so the officer ended up actually being put on life support and was brain dead. And so now his family is uh, donating his organs. And the first question that I have when I read an article like this is, why isn't this national news? Why isn't this what's what's at the forefront of the news? Because we know that if this officer had shot the man who was unarmed, but physically overcame him and stomped on his head, that all of a sudden we would have seen that it's further proof of this narrative that police are just out here killing unarmed black men. The other thing I, I think about is whether his death is a direct result of this media narrative. By this, I mean, was he hesitant to use what level of force was necessary in order to subdue this person? Did he not want to pull out his gun and shoot this person because he's heard that unarmed black men are being killed by the police and he didn't want to get fired or end up losing his job or end up uh, going to jail like we've seen other officers do? He was unarmed, that's for sure. But unarmed does not mean not dangerous. BLM would have been protesting in the streets and any time that anyone brought up his criminal record or the fact that he was assaulting this officer of 22 years, everybody would have been up in arms and would have said, oh, that's just a narrative that's blaming the victim. How do you know why he, he, he shot this person because he's racist, obviously. The saddest part of the article is that the officer had a GoFundMe and the goal of the GoFundMe was only $40,000 and to date of the article, he had raised 18000 But when someone like George Floyd ends up resisting arrest, this family gets $27 million. So imagine the disparity here. Policemen risk their lives every day just by the nature of being in uniform. And my question is, why the silence on this incident? This has been 10 Points to Ponder.